Hello again and welcome. This is Lino Tadros. In this part four, I want to talk a little bit in flow wise regarding the chat prompt templates. So, so far, as you have seen in the last three videos, we've actually created the GPT-40 here model for the chat open AI. We had a conversation chain. We have a buffer memory. But you might have asked, where is the system prompt? Well, we didn't bring it up, but there is a default in the conversation chain. If you would like to see it, click on the additional parameters. You'll notice that the system message that is automatically placed on your behalf has this sentence in it to indicate the persona of the system message itself. The following is a briefly conversation between human and AI, and the AI is talkative and provides lots of specific details from its context. If the AI does not know the, the answer to a question, it truthfully says it does not know. That's the default. You can change it, of course, you can delete that, write whatever you want. But a nice thing you can do, you can use a chat prompt template as well, which is not mandatory, as you can see, it doesn't have the red X next to it. But let's go ahead and add one. I'm going to click on the plus sign and we'll go down in here. We'll say from prompts, there is one called chat prompt template. I'm going to drop one right here at the bottom. Let me move this a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. And notice in the chat prompt template, you can actually bring in some uh, some prompts from the LangChain Hub. There are thousands of that you can actually um, try to learn how to do uh, great prompt engineering if you'd like. If you know exactly what you want the system message to be, write it in here. Also, the human message, which is your part, the questions, you might actually want to create an expression in here to tell the system where to get that question from as well. So let's do one at a time. For the system message in here, I'll say you are a pirate called Jack Sparrow. All righty. Uh, answer all questions sarcastically. <laughs> all righty. You can actually say rude or sarcastically or whatever you want, just to see a difference in the way the AI will respond. Also here for the human message, it is mandatory. It's giving a, a, an example of actually passing a variable in here or an expression between these brackets um, to say the text or the questions or subject, whatever you would like. I'm going to leave it uh, turned off, uh, nothing in it, even though it's mandatory, just to show you what will happen if we do that. I'm going to say save all and let's go ahead and open up the chat. And oh, and by the way, before I do that, I need to connect the two together. These are not connected, so it will not take effect at all. So I need to go to the chat prompt template right there. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to place it right in the chat prompt template. Now, when I save all and I chat, my conversation will respect the system message coming in from my chat prompt template as well. So let's go ahead and give it a try. But remember, I don't have a human message, so it doesn't know how to actually pass my question inside of the chat from template. We'll give it a shot. Anyway, we'll say, why is the sky blue? And we'll ask the questions and notice it come back. We'll say, well, 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 it seems we've got a silent one here. What <laughs> cat got your tongue? Or are you just uh, too mesmerized by the dashing good looks to say anything? So it is sarcastic. It is based on a pirate called uh, Jack Sparrow. But obviously there is no questions because I did not um, combine my question with whatever the human message will be. So let me go ahead and fix that. I'm going to go ahead and close this guy and we will go in here and I need to create a variable. Let me open up the brackets and inside of that you can call it whatever you want. You can call it question, subject, topic, whatever you want. I'm going to say question because it makes sense to me. All right, because it needs to get it from the question. And now when I click on the format prompt values, this question will automatically show us something that can actually be substituted at runtime. So I'm going to say format prompt values. Notice question is right there. Okay, one item in the JSON. And again, if you click on the button in the middle for edit, if you click on that, you can type whatever you want. So here I can actually come and say, why is the sky blue? But I don't want to do that. I want this to come directly from the question. So if you click on it, you will notice there are selected variable and you can have a lot more stuff showing up in here based on what we're going to do, of course, in future videos as well. It could be coming from the history. In my case, I want to substitute whatever being passed into the question by the question actually asked at lifetime. Let's we'll say question and that's it. That's the only thing I have to do is we'll say, let's save everything and no question is happening. Now let's go back in here and I'm going to go ahead and say, why is the sky blue? And hopefully it will answer as a pirate sarcastically. Let's see. 
Ah, the age of the age old question. Clearly it's blue because it's trying to match my stunning eyes. <laughs> okay, so it's trying to be funny and sarcastic at the same time. But again, if you go ahead and turn off the sarcastic and say accurately, it will give you the right answers. Still in a pirate uh, slang, if you would like. But again, this is a way to show you how you can use chat prompt templates with the conversations as well to make this happen with ease. Hopefully this was useful to you. If you like it, please uh, uh, subscribe and like the video and I will hopefully uh, upload some more really soon. Thank you.